Hi everyone, I'm going to give you a short introduction to the uh, material that I'm going to be working on for the next few weeks or so, depending on what and how much it is that I'm having to put together. Um, I call it the uh, Winds of War Anthology and the reason I'm calling that is because I would like to explain to you a few things on the understanding of what spirit energy is in itself and the reason I'm calling it uh, the spirit amongst the winds of war is because if we need to understand who we are and what we are we need to understand why it's so very important for us to know what spirit energy is and when I say spirit energy I'm referring to the energy that is within us, the spirit energy or the great spirit energy in itself and to have a very good grasp of understanding of this particular energy in itself we need to understand why it's so important and um, we look at the other side of uh, how it was used and why it still uh, is being used and how it will become not being used anymore. So when I say that I might sound a little bit cryptic but I am going to give you this as a little sample to understand. Back in the day when the Nazis or the Germans um, decided to create a political movement and I'm not going to give all of the details away, uh, we must understand that they regarded the spirit of everything as the highest form of control and when I say that it means they have gone for example to countries outside of where they are I'm talking about the guys who motivated their political gains through creation of the occult and all of that stuff uh, I think that it's there has been a lot of material that's been made in the world that will explain all of this stuff but the details um, I feel um, they may not have explained it in such a way that we must understand, uh, give a better uh, a form of awareness to why um, spirit energy is so important. So, for example, I'll go back. They went to certain countries, and I know, for example, they went to uh, uh, Spain, and they then sent out the... Uh, archaeologists and the occults, occultists that were part of the archaeological um, teams to go and do ritual magic work on all the sacred sites of Spain as well as other places in the world, other countries in the world. So all the sacred sites that um, we have in our countries, that could be anything, I mean our uh, mountain ranges here are very sacred to the people in South Africa as such uh, it could be the pyramids in Egypt for example it could be anything literally whatever it was including ley lines very very important they go and they they went and they started claiming the spirit of that particular sacred site so in other words they do their ritual work and then they enforce their own uh, ownership over that particular sacred site and by that they believe then that they have the power to uh, control that country and that is how that particular power started rising and I call that information the winds of war because these are the winds of war. They are from the past. If we under want to understand and dismantle that which is going on as we speak in this current reality, we have to have the uh, critical thinking and awareness that things like these examples of today are coming from the past and that they carry on, carried on with those rituals even today. So. I am going to be bringing this information in. It's going to have a lot of. I'm going to have some guests on. Um, we will be talking about these things. So, but this will all happen over time, and um, I encourage you to please join me 
where when I am bringing the information in for, for us to work with. Please understand that when we talk about information as such on this channel, uh, and when I say channel, I'm saying all the people that are part of this channel, all of us, uh, whether the subscribers have been removed or not, uh, we are all alive and we are the many bodies, the many people, the many beings, the many organic human beings that are the embodiments of Great Spirit. We are Great Spirit in plural and so we must not forget that and that everything that is real, that, that is physiologically in this material world has a spiritual background to it at all times. When you think of something it is in a spirited manner. When you look at something it is spirited because you then give that thing that you're looking at life. So by giving it life you then give it of your own light and so it becomes life. It becomes lifelike in that matter materialistic world. So I'm going to encourage you to please go with me through this because this is a very important um, series of work um, and it's taken quite a long time to put it together so that it's much more coherent on the sources that I've been bring that I've been putting together from everywhere so that um, we can get a better understanding and hopefully at the end of the end of the series uh, we will then be able to give a more um, formulated uh, let's say spirit 101 so that we can then see what is real as opposed to what is not real and what is false uh, so thank you everyone um, I will see you soon and I'll speak to you soon bye